ground conditioner. There's no cleaner clean. Turning now to the economy, yet another new high on Wall Street today. The Dow rose slightly in heavy trading, enough to set a record for the fourth consecutive day. Which raises the simple question, why? You don't have to be an economist to know that people have been feeling pretty uneasy about the economy lately, yet the market continues skyward. NBC's chief financial correspondent Mike Jensen on the Wall Street boom. The stock market has shot up 53% since the bull market began almost three years ago. The Dow rising from over 2,300 to more than 3,600. Some stocks have skyrocketed in the last 12 months. Caterpillar from $47 a share to 81. Motorola from 42 to 96. Investors have poured $60 billion into stock funds this year. We're looking at August being a record month for mutual fund equity sales. They're buying stocks because interest rates on CDs and money market certificates are dismal. Investors also are buying stocks because corporate profits are high, so company stock is worth more. Profits are up mainly because of cost-cutting, layoffs. The day IBM announced 35,000 layoffs, its slumping Six stock went up $3 a share. Let's see, let's see we asked Merrill Lynch's chief like market analyst what happens uh, next. In the stock market, nothing stays up forever. When do you think we're going to see stock prices come down and how much will they come down? Later this year, or maybe early 1994, we might see a 20% setback in the averages. That would be a drop of 700 points on the Dow, most likely over six to nine months, according to many analysts, before stocks started back up again. Mike Jensen, NBC News, New York. It's been one hot summer throughout the South, and the heat goes on and on. And the air conditioners drone on and on, too. The result? Electric bills in Atlanta have soared by 20% this summer. In Texas, it's worse as NBC's Jim Cummins reports. It was hot in Dallas again today, 105 at 105 this afternoon. In fact, it's been brutally hot throughout the South this summer with record-breaking temperatures in many places. Something else has gone up with the temperatures, electric bills. Here's mine, from about $392 for one month last summer to about $590.